Hey, so I wanted to share something um, from Andrew Martin that I thought was really great. He said, fear holds on and love sets things free. And it's really easy for me to picture that kind of as like a bird. You could have a bird on your hand where like it's free to fly away versus having a bird in a cage where you're forcing it to be with you. So I think this applies to relationship, but kind of just to everything in your life. And it's sort of an opportunity to just think about where you're holding on to something and what birds you put in a cage versus allowing it to leave, but then it also having the opportunity to stay. So in my life, I've experienced being in very controlling relationship and I've definitely felt like a caged bird and that's not love and like I thought I thought that it was because that was all I knew but real loving relationship are giving you the opportunity to leave and you're you're both choosing to stay that's real love it's not both putting each other in a cage of like you have to stay with me and I'm afraid for you to leave me um because it's just it's so restrictive and it feels icky like you can tell when someone trying to control you out of their own insecurity of you leaving basically like if they're if you're confident in yourself then you're gonna know that you're gonna be okay if that person chooses to leave and it's when you're insecure that you're like I need that person to stay because they make me feel good about myself or it's part of my identity or I need them for such and such a reason um so yeah, I'm challenging myself to look at kind of what things I'm like holding on to really tightly as opposed to like letting it exit my reality if it wants to. Because here's the thing, life will strip things away from you. Even if you put them in a cage, like even if you're like, oh, I need my body to be this certain way and you're not just like allowing your body to be whatever it is. Um, life can absolutely take that away from you if that's the lesson that you need. So it's better to kind of be more flexible with something because then if, if that is the next phase of your growth for something to leave, then it's not going to be as painful as if you're just really, really holding on. And it kind of related to just this joke that I've heard, it's like, how do you tell the difference between a stick and a boomerang? It's like, if you throw it, then you'll find it. So, that's a way to see what you're holding on to. It's like, am I willing to throw this? Like, am I willing to take the risk that this is a stick and not a boomerang? Like, if it's meant to be yours, it'll come back. If you take a break from a relationship and you're both wanting the relationship, then it will come back. But if you take a break and then one of you realizes that you don't actually want this relationship, then it's a stick, right? And it just ends. So we can kind of be preemptive about things in theory. Um, just take just take a break from things or just imagine your life without that thing and see see if you're holding on to it. See if something is really meant to be yours or if you're kind of forcing it to be yours. So... That's what I had to say about that topic. Thank you for watching.